Ahoy there, fellow travelers, ready to set sail on the adventure of a lifetime? Well, before you unpack your bags and dive headfirst into the excitement of your cruise, let me ask you this. Ever wondered what not to do in your cozy little cruise ship cabin? Stick around because today, we're unraveling the secrets to a smooth sailing experience by revealing the 15 things you should never do in your cruise ship cabin. Let's dive into the first wave of wisdom with mistake number one. Overlooking the safety drill. First things first, safety should always be your top priority. Picture this thing, you're soaking up the sun on the deck, the ship's horn blares, and suddenly you realize you missed the safety drill. Big mistake, always attend the safety briefing. It might just save the day if the unexpected happens. Mistake number two, neglecting the cabin orientation. Once you step into your cabin, it's tempting to jump on that bed or rush to the balcony. Hold on, take a minute to familiarize yourself with the cabin layout, knowing where the life jackets are, the emergency exits, and even the bathroom in the dark can be a game changer in an emergency. It's mistake number three, ignoring the power of seasickness. Now, let's talk seasickness. It's the unwanted guest, no one invited. Ignore it at your peril. Pack some seasickness remedies, and if you feel queasy, don't lock yourself in the cabin. Head to the open deck for a breath of fresh air. It works wonders. It's mistake number four, playing Jenga with the mini bar items who can resist the allure of the mini bar. But here's a tip, tumps don't treat it like a game of Jenga. Moving those tiny bottles around might cost you a pretty penny. Cruise ship sensors are smart. If something is removed for more than a minute, you're paying for it. It's mistake number five, packing the entire wardrobe. I get it. You want options, but trust me, your cabin won't appreciate being turned into a fashion runway. Pack wisely. Think mix and match. The more space you save, the more comfortable your stay will be. It's mistake number six, ignoring the do not disturb sign. Privacy is golden, especially when you're on vacation. So you don't want housekeeping knocking while you're catching some Z's, remember to use the do not disturb sign. It's a small detail, but it can make a big difference. It's mistake number seven, assuming the balcony is soundproof. Balconies are fantastic for breathtaking views, but they're not soundproof. Your neighbors can probably hear every word of your passionate karaoke rendition. Keep it down and respect the peaceful coexistence of cruise ship life. It's mistake number eight, leaving valuables unattended. Your cabin is a safe haven, but don't get too comfortable. Leaving valuables unattended is an open invitation to trouble. Use the cabin safe for passports, jewelry, and any treasures you've collected during your shore excursions. It's mistake number nine, disregarding the bathroom etiquette. Let's dive into bathroom etiquette, a crucial but often overlooked aspect. Never flush anything other than toilet paper. Trust me, your cabin steward will thank you, and ladies, dispose of used sanitary items properly. Nobody wants a plumbing disaster mid-cruise, it's mistake number 10, ignoring the cruise compass's schedule. The cruise compasses is your cruise Bible. Ignoring it is like navigating without a map. Keep an eye on the schedule for activities, dining times, and important announcements. You won't want to miss the ship's special events or the chocolate buffet. It's mistake number 11, forgetting the sea grows at night. So the sun sets, the sea can transform from a gentle lullaby to a roaring symphony. Secure loose items on your balcony, close the windows, and if you're sensitive to noise, consider packing earplugs. A good night's sleep is crucial for a day full of adventures. It's mistake number 12, storing liquids haphazardly. Let's talk liquids. Be it sunscreen, shampoo, or that bottle of souvenir rum, secure them well. Imagine the horror of opening your suitcase to find everything soaked. Ziploc bags and a little strategic packing can save you from a soggy situation. It's our mistake number 13, Underestimating the power of magnet clips? Magnet clips are the unsung heroes of cruise cabins. Use them to keep important documents, daily schedules, or even wet swimsuits off the floor. They're small, but trust me, they make a big difference. It's mistake number 14, disregarding fire safety. Fire safety is paramount. Take a moment to locate the nearest fire exit and understand how to use it. It's a small effort that can make a huge difference in case of an emergency. It's mistake number 15, disembarking unprepared Lastly, the end of the cruise is not the time to be unprepared. Double check your belongings, follow the disembarkation instructions, and have all necessary documents ready. A smooth disembarkation ensures your cruise memories end on a high note. Well, there you have it, savvy sailors. We've navigated through the waters of common cabin blunders, armed with knowledge to make your cruise the epitome of smooth sailing. 
Remember, it's not just about the destination. The journey starts right in your cabin. If you found these tips helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more cruise gems, and share your own cabin wisdom in the comments below. So there you have it. 15 things you should never do in your cruise ship cabin. Remember, a little preparation goes a long way in ensuring a safe, enjoyable, and stress-free cruise. Bon voyage and may your cruise be filled with fantastic memories and smooth sailing.